Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ref Guest. We got a packed house today, including MLB reliever Jimmy Herget, who's going to play Ref Guest today with us. And today's theme is Venezuelan-born players. There's a lot of great players from Venezuela. Let's see if JM's Finest can name them all. Catcher. Venezuelan catcher. Cleveland, Boston, Detroit catcher. Good one. Catcher to Boston to Detroit for a long time. Transitions into a first base DH type. I can paint the picture. I don't think I need to. A legendary hitter. IMO. Uh, Cleveland to Boston to Detroit. We got a catcher who played with Cleveland, Boston, and Detroit. I historically suck with catchers. Like, I have awful. 16 years, huh? Beautiful man. This guy I ran into at the Saratoga racetrack. He's retired now, and he now has a stable of horses. One of his horses won a race when I was there. I mean, what I provided from the catching position, fantasy-wise and real baseball-wise, unreal. 409 OBP, 2014. Third baseman? Yeah, I, I think I know who this is. Um, pretty sure. I'm just trying to make sure. If I'm thinking of the right guy... Um, he was like the number four or five hitter with Niggy on the, th these Detroit teams. Um, I think he wore number 41, 40 range. Could be wrong. It's not Oswaldo Cabrera. It is Victor Martinez, though. Switch hitting catcher, most likely Victor Martinez. Uh, that's Victor Martinez. This is Victor Martinez. Uh, this is Victor Martinez. Victor Martinez? I'm going to go with Victor Martinez. Oh, um, 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 um switch hitter. Um, Victor Martinez. Yeah. Victor Martinez. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the, uh, what is it, the famous video where he hits a homer off of uh, Jared Weaver and he's like cussing yeah, him out down the line? Yeah. yeah that's, a, that's a that's a good one. He was only with Boston for a year and a half. Yeah, that was it. Hey, at least, Brain. I think of him, you tell me, close my eyes, picture Victor Martinez, I think of him as a Red Sox. Medium. Sh medium. Nice. Medium? Side shirt I'm wearing. Venezuelan pitcher. Person here has gone over at least 100 strikeouts numerous times. Over 200 twice. All right. Florida Marlins. Detroit, 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 Washington. He pitched last year. It's kind of weird. Florida Marlins, part of Miami. Looks like a midseason move to Detroit for a while. I am Venezuelan. Comes up with the Marlins. He's a kid. Not necessarily a world beater. For a couple years. Uh -huh. He was okay. Whoa, this guy was on the Nationals last year? Oh, so this is, um, oh, this is going to piss me off. Who was the old pitcher in the rotation for the Nationals? He just played this year. Love that. Another 16-year guy. Jesus. And he finished in 2022. What Venezuelan guys played for the Nationals the last three years? Gosh. <laughs> Wait, I know this. I got him dead to rights. Come on. I know this. I know this guy. I know. I know who this is. He was the Detroit flamethrower, starting pitcher. He was one year in Miami, then to Detroit. Little cameo in Atlanta, which frankly I'd forgotten about, and really good on the World Series champion Nats. He's thrown a lot of major league innings. A sneaky part of your Nats title team, and a sneaky part of your 2022 Nats. I know his name. And it's tripping me up right now. This just happens. I think when you try to grab it too soon, and then you and then you block your you and then you block yourselves forever. And that's what I just did. The only name that's popping in my head is I, I know it's not this guy. Is Cookie Carrasco because he's an older guy on a rotation right now. Marlin, Detroit, Atlanta, Washington. Hey, he finished ninth in Rookie of the Year, so that's that's gonna help me. 182 innings. 2013. He was he was part of a great staff. Verlander, Scherzer, Fister. The, this guy. Uh, fourth place, Cy Young, 2013, huh? Uh, I guess he was on that good Tigers rotation. 14 starts. Age 38. I'd take it. Oh, and it is Anibal Sanchez. Oh, Anibal Sanchez. Anibal Sanchez. This is Anibal Sanchez. Oh, this is uh, Anibal Sanchez. Anibal. Uh, this would have to be Anibal Sanchez. I am the animal, Annie Ball Sanchez. Annie Ball Sanchez? Yeah. We were just talking about that Detroit team because yeah. we were just in Boston. They were talking about their World Series and how they got 
absolutely manhandled by that rotation. But that team was so good. That Detroit team was ridiculous. I know. It's crazy. I staff, don't know how they did not Scherzer, win the World Series. Scherzer, Erlander, Fister, Fister, Sanchez, Porcello. Porcello. Thank you, sir. Still have a perfect record. Hard mode. Hard, hard mode. Am I going to get hard on ref guess? I haven't had a hard one in my hand in a while. Third baseman, second baseman. Play for the New York Metropolitans. Mets, that's a good one. Position, four, five, six. It's a third baseman. I have a name that's popped into my mind who I only know for Mets years. Wow. A New York Metropolitan. A San Francisco Giant. An angel in a Blue Jay, but he forgets about those times. We're looking at a third baseman who won MVPs in 1999 and 2000 for the Mets. Or got MVP votes, I should say. So he's a former Met, second baseman, third baseman, and shortstop. 12 years. Okay. A lot of MVPs, though. He's got MV MVP votes, but one, only an all-star one year. Angels in 06. This is, yes, 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 a very underrated player. A player that was very important to those Mets teams. Oh, this is old. That threw me off. 95. This is the first one that hasn't crossed my career because he ended in 06. I started in 07. So before my time, it is a little intimidating. I'm not going to lie. It's someone who I think he played third base, but I'm not certain. But he's the only name coming to mind. And it's not an official guess, but I'm going to say it for now. I'm going to say Ray Ordonez, but I'm not locking it in. But I don't think he played that long. I feel like all I know about Ray Ordonez was he was on those Mets teams. And for some reason in my mind, I have him as a third baseman, but you could, I could so get this wrong and you're like, he was a right fielder. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I didn't know that. If it's the Met, I'm thinking of played every day, but I don't, I, I do not know him for time anywhere else. So these Giants, Angels, and, and Blue Jays cameos are not helping. Man, Silver Slugger, 2000 Mets. And some really high OPS seasons. Then went to the Giants, and then the Dodgers in Toronto, and is Venezuelan. I don't think I have this in my brain. I wasn't actively following the Mets, although I do watch that World Series documentary a lot. He was a big part of that team. Giant, Angel. You know, I got stories for each guy. I think I know who this guy is, too. Now I'm in a blender right now. I just don't. Right now, the only guy that's stuck in my head is the... Um, Wilmer Flores, who, I mean, obviously this is not that him. I'm struggling with this one. I want to say Ray Ordonez, but I don't think that's it. But it could be. Yeah, that's the... I'm trying to think. I don't think I'm going to get this. In my head, I have a skinny third baseman. Because third baseman's a big butt position. And I, in my head, this guy is not one of those. I don't know. I went to a baseball camp when I was younger. Worked there when I was a camp counselor, and our fielding award was named after this guy. If I think of the right guy, I'm gonna go with Ray Ordonez. I don't, I don't, I don't I, there's no chance I got this. No one. shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna say Ray Ordonez, final answer. A player that Jolly Off should do a video on. But the comments would be like, Met guy doing a video on a <laughs> Met guy? This is Elgardo Alfonso. Oh. Could also be Edgardo Alfonso. Could totally also be Edgardo Alfonso. I think that's what I'm, I think I'm going Edgardo Alfonso. I believe there's only really one option in my head for this player to be. In my head, I kind of had him at third base a little more. I mean, there's a, I guess there's always a chance it's not, but I believe this would be Edgardo Alfonso. I'm going to go ahead and guess Edgardo Alfonso. And you're correct. Nice. Never looked at his baseball reference. I just, the Good years. Player. The years add up. I shut up, God. Down. They're going to come after you. Uh, I deserve it. They're going to come after you. That was a good one. All right. Edgardo Alfonso? Not in my brain. I got hard again. After not getting hard for a while, I got hard. Ah! All righty. 12 year big leaguer. I'm sorry. Hey, he's a good player. Yeah. Got to brush up on your Alfonso history. <laughs> yeah. That's deep in the files of so Venezuelan players. 
We got half the pack making it to the trivia round. A really fun trivia question today. But first, I got to tell you about the sponsor for today's episode, Rough Guess, which is MLB Nine Innings. Guys, MLB Nine Innings is an incredibly addicting mobile app right now for all of you baseball fanatics out there. They have over 2,000 player cards in their very expansive libraries. There's a ton of ways to play on MLB Nine Innings, including league mode, live player versus player mode, where you can play online. They have all of your favorite players, Larry Walker, Walter Johnson, Trevor Hoffman, the legends of the game, and also the active players that you love as well. And they have all the up-to-date rosters, team logos, stadiums. It's like you're a real MLB coach getting in that playing time. Gotta love it. Click the link in our description right now to download the app and start playing MLB 9 Innings today. And thank you to them for sponsoring today's episode. Now let's get to the trivia question. Guys, let's turn it back to the WBC. Hopefully you were paying attention during their World Baseball Classic. I'm going to ask players to name me the lineup from Team Venezuela in their quarterfinal matchup with Team USA where they were knocked out of the tournament because they had a lot of great players on that team. Let's see if anyone can name the lineup nine for nine. Catcher was... This is not a good start. Uh, Second base was the short guy, Altuve. Yes. Third base, Bobby Abreu. No. He is Venezuelan, though. I know, he is a great Venezuelan player. I'm not going to get this one, guys. You don't uh, remember any of that team? No. They're really good. I know. They, they played the U.S. Leaguers. They played the U.S. Blank on Miguel Cabrera. Uh, he was on the bench, unfortunately. <laughs> Glaber. Glaber. Thank you. I don't know, man. I'm out. Hey, right, you're folding? It's a good lineup, though. I'll tell you that much. You okay. Nine answers. Team Venezuela. Glaber Ready? Torres. Okay, he's going. Glaber Torres, DH. Uh, Salvador Perez. Catcher. Uh... Santander? Yes, right field. Three for three. God, their team was good. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of talent that comes from that country. Eugenio Suarez? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the, the infield's going to make me mad. It's going to Arias? Arias, yes, first base. Okay. Good. I'll, okay. Take, I'll take that at the end. Salvador Perez. Yes. Jose Altuve. Yes. Glaber didn't play, but I'll guess him anyways. Glaber is DH, yes. Oh, okay, nice. Three. Three for three. Um, Santander. Yes. Uh, who else? Oh, Luis Arise. Yes. Uh, who else was on Team Venezuela? Eduardo Escobar. I uh, didn't start. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Shortstop. Oh, Renjifo? No. Center, left, third, short. Who else was on Team Venezuela? They had those blue and yellow uniforms, and then they had... No, yeah, and then they had red and yellow uniforms. I have no clue who their shortstop was, and I feel like it would definitely have Center to be someone Center and short, you can notable. definitely get. David Peralta? He was in left field. Oh, nice okay, we'll take that. I think I'm, if I get six out of nine, I think I'm fine with that. I'm going to use up my time, but I don't think I'm yeah, going to get fine. any of these if I don't have them right now. Glaber Torres, I believe, was the He was the H. H. Yeah. Salvi was behind the dish. He was. Jose Altuve. Yep, second. second base. Did Miguel Cabrera play first base? He was on, the, on bench. the bench. Acuna. Yep. First person to get Acuna today. Uh, Santander. Yes. You need two more. Andres Jimenez. Yes. What was that short? Luis Arias. Uh, Luis Arias played first base. Two more. Ten first seconds. base. Um, third base was good. Eugenio Suarez. Oh, yeah. And then left field was kind of like the one of the captains of the team, David Peralta. Peralta, yes. Well, no one could name me the whole lineup, but BBD got the closest, getting seven out of nine names. He is the winner for today's episode of Ref Guest. Congratulations to him, and thank you to you guys for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the JM Baseball channel, and ring that bell for all future notifications so you don't miss a single thing that we upload right here. Guys, I hope you have a great week, and we'll see you next time for Ref Guest.